the the year was around ni- uh, 1997. I was I went out to it was um, Gay Pride weekend. I marched in the Gay Pride parade with some friends in New York City. They were throwing beads off of one float or maybe several floats, and so I ended up getting some of the beads and. And the ones I liked were the ones that looked like pearls. And so I was wearing them in the parade. And that weekend, after the parade, which was on a Sunday, I was going to spend about a week, or maybe a little shorter of a week, out on Fire Island. And so when I went to Fire Island, I wanted to stay in that festive mood, so I took my pearls out with me, my beads. <laughs> and so I got out to, um, to Lee's house, and um, it was Lee's lover, his name was Byron, he was the chef there. And so I went by to see the restaurant and to see him and to eat and see what he, what's it, what he does there, see him do his thing. And he was saying, oh my God, he was rushing around. There was no, I mean, the sh- part of the staff didn't show up. I think they didn't come back from the Gay Pride Parade. <laughs> they got drunk or something and didn't catch the boat back. So I said, Byron, can I help you? Let me do something. But he said, oh, no, you're here on, on your vacation. I said, I can help. He said, um, okay, help me. Well, start just by clearing the tables or taking somebody's orders. And because I, had had, I had been a waiter before and stuff. And uh, so I, um, I said, but there's one thing that I must have if you want me to help you. I have to wear my pearls. And I remember he said, okay, get those pearls and come on. So I ran, I ran back to his house and got my pearls and came back with the pearls. And, um, and so there I was, I was clearing and I was taking orders and I was doing all this stuff. So the guy in the kitchen, uh, he yells out, he says, you with the pearls, I, your order's ready. And, um, so I said, me? He said, yeah, you pearl. And I said, it was like, ding, ding, ding. I, started I said, oh my God, I like that, the sound of that. Pearl. Well, let me tell you, from then on, my name was Pearl. From then on to this day, I kept the name Pearl. And uh, he, I don't even think he realized that he named me at that moment. And so people would always ask me, um, how, did you, how did you get the name Pearl? Is it from your grandmother or your great grand? I said, no, my grandmother's name was Julia. <laughs> um, but um, it all came from the pearls that I was wearing from uh, Gay Pride Week. And so I love the name. It's, it's the, one of the funniest ways to get a name. So. You never know how you're going to get your name, but I got my name and I love it.